Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Blair and today's video was not planned at all. I had a bad day today and I know everybody watching this has had a bad day and they just need to do something to take their mind off of things and relax. And so I was thinking, you know what? I'm going to sit down, turn on the camera, and play with some new makeup. So I did not plan this video at all. I did just get the new ColourPop foundation and some other drugstore goodies. So everything on my face is from the drugstore and it's affordable. So if you're interested in hanging out with me, definitely keep watching. I have a cup of coffee here and I'm just going to relax and we're going to do our makeup together. So grab a snack, grab a drink. Grab a friend, grab anything you want, and let's play with some makeup together. I'm first going to take just a little bit of moisturizer. I have not even put on any moisturizer on my face today, and that never happens, ever. So I'm going to take a little bit of this Waleda Skin Food Light and put a little bit of this on my face because I don't know that I want to apply any makeup to my dry face right now and then I'm going to take a little bit of my banana bright eye cream like always okay now that I have a little bit of skincare on I'm already feeling a little bit better. Now we're going to put on some corrector. I'm going to use my Believe Beauty Brighten Up Color Correcting Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I'm just going to take a little shader brush and we're going to pop a little bit of this under my eyes. Okay, see, already looks better. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tap that in lightly with my ring finger. Okay, now that we have some corrector on, I've been doing concealer next, but I think I'm going to wait and do foundation next, and then we'll do concealer after that. I just got the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation in the mail. So we're going to try this out today. I believe this is only available at Ulta right now, and then it's going to be available on ColourPop next week maybe. I'll put it up on the screen. But I did order this from Ulta. I believe it is $16. I do love the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. Um, I love the setting spray. I love the concealer, which we're going to use today. So. I expect that I'm probably gonna like this as well but we will see so that's one pump very liquidy as you can see and one pump is a good bit of product so we're probably not gonna need all this so I have my pump here and I'm gonna take this with my Smashbox full coverage foundation brush and we will start to blend this in. So this has hyaluronic acid in it like the tinted moisturizer does. I believe it comes in, I want to say like 40 shades maybe. I'll put it up on the screen. And I believe it's supposed to be a buildable medium coverage. And I can tell right off the bat it definitely does um, have the really hydrating finish. You can tell it has hyaluronic acid in it for sure. Oh, I don't think I told you what shade I got. This is the shade Light 45W, and I wear the shade 6W in the Tinted Moisturizer for reference. I think that's pretty blended out. So I still have some left on the back of my hand. And the shade match for me is pretty good, actually. Um, 
might be a tad bit light because I have been using um, a little bit of self tanner but it's a pretty good match for me so there it is I don't think I'm gonna add any more I don't think I need any more um, this looks really nice it looks almost identical to the tinted moisturizer it just has better coverage which is what you would assume it looks really nice on my skin I would definitely agree it's a medium coverage. It doesn't cover everything, but it covers a good bit. You guys, this looks really nice. Wow, I am very impressed. I had a feeling I was going to be, just because I typically like everything from ColourPop. I just love them as a brand. Um, but this looks really, really nice super pretty and natural. I think it's a really great addition to the Pretty Fresh line. Just for those days when you maybe want a little more coverage, but you want something hydrating that looks natural, but does cover really well. So I'm excited about this so far. And we are going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. This I use all the time. I love this. Um, I have two. I have light 40 in, which is what I'm going to apply first. And then sometimes I take a little bit of light 45 warm and apply just a tiny bit of that color. I need another sip of coffee. I'm going to blend the concealer out with my Smashbox Blurring Concealer Brush. And just lightly pounce this in. Wow, that blended in really well over this foundation. You know how sometimes when you blend in concealer, when you blend it over foundation, sometimes if the textures don't mesh well, it can kind of look weird, but it looks really, really nice. So like I was saying, uh, I have had the longest and stressful week and I just haven't really been taking care of myself at all this week and whenever I go days and don't put makeup on, that is not good. Even if it's just a little bit of makeup, it just brightens my mood, not because I think I have to put it on, but because it's good for me and I kind of touched on this in my last video but sitting down and filming these videos and just applying makeup in general even if I don't film it is so therapeutic for me it is like it's therapy it's like therapy so this to me is makeup therapy I have started watching Alexa Blake here on YouTube I will link her in my description box but she does these videos on Fridays called makeup therapy sessions and I love them I love them and she just sits and plays with makeup drinks some wine coffee water whatever and just plays with makeup and it is the most therapeutic thing to watch if you have not watched her please do so I will link her in the description box I've been absolutely loving her channel and that's what inspired me to sit down and film this video because I could just tell I needed makeup therapy I needed to sit down and just put on some makeup and I've only been filming for a few minutes at this point but I already feel a lot better so there's the concealer it looks really nice over this foundation by the way, this is natural light. There is no, um, no ring light or anything. So this is what it looks like when I'm sitting in front of a window. So that looks really good. It looks really, really good. Oh, okay, I'm excited about this. Moving on to a little bit of powder. My new go-to powder is the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. This is in the shade Fair Light. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just lightly set my face. 
even though I'm not leaving the house, so there's really no need for me to set this makeup, but I have it sitting here, so we're going to do it. I have been loving this powder from e.l.f. It is so nice, and it's I think it's $6, but it sets your makeup but you do not look like you have powder all over your face. It is wonderful. I am obsessed with this powder. I mean, truly, it sets the makeup, but it doesn't look like, oh my gosh, she's got powder all over her face. Just lightly tapping a little bit under my eyes, too. This is the shade Fair Light, if I didn't say that, but I know it comes in at least one more shade, maybe two more shades. But I have been obsessed with it ever since I tried it. So if you need a new powder, try this one out from e.l.f. I actually have my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. And I recently got this in the second shade, which is Sun Kissed. My first one was the first number one in Sunlight. And I decided to get it in number two because I loved number one so much. And I figured... Now that I have um, a little more color, I would get number two and try it out. So we're just going to apply some of this. So like I was saying, this week has just kind of been one of those weeks where you're just running around. You feel like you're not accomplishing anything and... You don't have two seconds to spend on yourself. That's how this week has felt. And I know everybody has weeks like that, but for me, when I do, the best thing for me to do is sit down and do whatever I have to do to relax a little bit. And for me, the answer is this. So that bronzer in number two is so gorgeous. I've said this so many times, but if you need a drugstore bronzer, go try the Milani Silky Matte. It is so nice. So, so good. And for blush, this is my new favorite drugstore blush. Also from e.l.f., it is the Primer Infused Blush in the shade Always Punchy. I discovered this a few weeks ago when I did a full face of e.l.f. here on my channel, and... If you saw that video, my reaction to this blush was pretty hilarious. It, um, it just kind of blew me away, to be honest. I loved it. I have never tried an e.l.f. blush until this one, but, I mean, it is just so pretty. I am obsessed. This one is, like I said, the shade Always Punchy, um, but they do have a bunch of other shades. This one is like the perfect peachy coral shade. It's not too corally, but it's not too pinky. It's like right in between. Reminds me of um, NARS Orgasm. I love it. Need another sip of coffee. You guys let me know in the comments if you drink coffee late in the day. I usually like to have a cup. I don't every day, but sometimes I like to have a cup around 5 o'clock. Coffee doesn't really keep me up at night, so I do that. It's mainly for a comfort thing. I just love a warm cup of coffee, especially when I'm stressed out. So that's why I'm drinking coffee. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Instant Lift brow pencil and I'm going to lightly fill in my brows but nothing crazy because like I said I'm not I'm literally putting this makeup on to eat dinner and go to bed and wash it off but it's necessary I really like this brow pencil actually, especially for when you want to really, really quickly fill in your brows. 
it has a thicker point on it so it's really easy to fill your brows in with this especially if you just want to do something really quick and not um, not spend much time on it this is really good and moving on to some brow gel I'm gonna take my Believe Beauty clear brow gel and just fluff these up into place moving on to the eyes and you guys I found the most amazing eye combination from the drugstore and I just picked these two things up not even really planning to use them together and I did it one day last week sometime and I could not believe it I didn't even plan it I just kind of did this and I have to share it with you so I bought some of the new Maybelline Color Strike Cream to Powder Shadow Pens. And these are very interesting. So you unscrew them and they're, they come apart like this. And the point is like a little, almost looks like a little Hershey Kiss shape. And you just brush it on and that's all there is to it. And it's funny, I was reading some reviews, these are brand new, but I was reading some reviews on Ulta and people don't seem happy with these, but I've been loving it since I got it. So I got two shades and the first one is the shade Hustle. It's a really pretty bronzy color. Swatch it for you. So that is Hustle, really pretty. That shade does have some shimmer to it. And then the other one I got is the shade Flare. And this is a matte gray, almost like a taupey gray. So that is the shade Flare right there. And I don't know what made me do this, but this is, the easiest bronzy smoky eye ever that I've ever done in life. I take the shade Hustle, I brush it onto my lid, bring it up however far I want to. I'm gonna do one eye at a time because they do kind of dry quickly. And look how pretty that color is by itself. Now I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush before it has a chance to dry. And I'm just buffing this out, making sure the edges don't look super harsh. And I also put nothing on my eyelids. I have no concealer, no eye primer. So I have some natural discoloration up there, but we're just going to go with it because that's what I've been doing when I've used these and I love how it looks. And these actually came in a bunch of other colors, but these are the only two I got. Now I kind of want to go back and get more. I got mine at Ulta, but look at this shade. Like, look at that. That is one shadow and it took about 30 seconds for me to apply that and blend it out with a brush. So quick and easy. Then I've been taking the other shade, the grayish taupey shade, taking it right along my lash line, like eyeliner but not precise eyeliner, lining my eye and then slightly kind of flicking it out. And then I'll just take like a little pencil brush and just kind of smudge it and flick it up into a little V shape or a little wing shape if you want. You don't have to do that. Boom. Look at that. How freaking pretty is that? And these are, I think, like $7.99, $8.99, and they're so easy. You just brush it on, 
Use a brush, use your finger, use whatever. Dab it in and you're good to go. Can you believe that? Look how pretty that is. I love it. It's the quickest, easiest bronze smoky eye. And the best part is it's from the drugstore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then I'll be back for some mascara. Okay, I went ahead and did the other eye. I'm just blown away. Can you believe this? This is two drugstore products and that's it. You can also take uh, one and smudge a little bit on your bottom lash line. This is the shade Hustle. And take your pencil brush again. Smudge it in and that is it. That is it, and you have a gorgeous, easy, quick, affordable, bronzy, smoky eye, and I am obsessed with it. So if you like cream shadows, you need something quick and easy, really nice. I have been loving these two from Maybelline. Again, they're the Maybelline Color Strikes. I got them at Ulta. Um, I'm not sure if they have them other places. I'm sure they do. But the only place I've seen them so far is Ulta. Alright, I'm going to curl my lashes and go in with another new favorite, also from e.l.f. And it's the Keep Your Curl Mascara. I have used this in the past few videos and the reason is it's that good. And I'm blown away that this is from e.l.f. and it's like $5. If you like Benefit Roller Lash, then you would like to find something more affordable, look no further. This is it. Benefit Roller Lash is one of my favorites, and I'm telling you, this is so, so similar. So y'all will have to let me know if you have tried anything new from the drugstore recently that you have been loving. I feel like they're starting to kind of really come out with some new products. And I am very excited about that. Oh, look at this mascara. Like, look. I mean, this is so good, I can't even, I can't even believe it. Apply a little bit on my bottom lashes also. And that's it for the eyes. How easy and quick was that? Moving on to some lips. I have a new lip liner from Revlon. It's the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner, and this is in the shade natural which is a really pretty beige beigey nude I would say you blot off my lip my lip balm so this pencil is a little um it's not super pigmented I would say You can hear Belle, she's telling me that she's hungry. I'm almost finished. I'm in the middle of makeup therapy right now. I'm almost finished. But yeah, this lip liner, it's a pretty color, but it's not super, super pigmented. Hmm. I don't know about that. We will see, and I'm really excited about this though. I ordered one of the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. These just came out, and most of the shades were sold out on Ulta, but they did have this one, which is the shade 004 Silk. And these are supposed to be, I think, just hydrating, and I believe, yeah, they have hyaluronic acid in them as well. This one is kind of a rosier pink but it does look really pretty 
<laughs> that's a pretty shade. So that's it right there. Again, that's the shade Silk, but it's really nice. I feel like it's going to pair well with that lip liner color. And I believe this is supposed to be a plumping lip gloss also. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like it smells like something sweet, like a cookie or something. Ooh. That is pretty. Oh. Ooh, this smells so good. Yeah, this smells like a really good dessert. Wow, so that gloss, ooh, I love that color. That is really, really pretty. Oh, love it. And one final thing I did get is the new Maybelline Glass Spray. It's a makeup finishing spray. Skin looks hydrated with a dewy finish, which y'all know I'm all about that. So we're gonna use this. It says Shake Well. Not sure. I always get nervous when I use new setting mist because I don't know if the mister is going to be really intense. Ooh. Now that looks nice. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, that's a nice mister actually. This kind of reminds me of the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Spray. I was going to use that, but I forgot that I had this one from Maybelline, but the mister kind of reminds me of that. It does have a little bit of a smell, but it's a very light, pleasant smell, so definitely not bad. And that is going to be it. Let me take my sponge and just blot over everything. So this is the final look. and. I am very impressed with these things, you guys. I mean, this foundation looks so, so nice. Really good coverage, but not too much. It looks great with the Pretty Fresh Concealer if you have this already. I really like this. I really like this. I feel like this is going to be one of my new favorites, honestly. I also love this lip gloss. If you need a new one, or even if you don't, Look at these new ones from Maybelline. Really, really like this, especially this color. And I did not need a new setting spray, but I just couldn't resist because it said glass. So I thought glass skin. I don't know. But I did like the spray, and I really like how this makeup turned out. Thank you for sitting down and hanging out with me. Remember to take care of yourself. I feel so much better. Now that I sat down, put a little bit of makeup on, even though I'm not going anywhere, and just had a little quiet time to myself, doing something that I love, that makes me really happy and calm. So I hope you guys like this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget, if you enjoy my videos and you know somebody that would probably enjoy them too, please share them. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Share it with anybody you know, anybody you think that might like these videos, please share them. Thank you guys. I appreciate you all for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in my next one. Remember, simply be you. Bye.